in the last few years, I've gotten uh, quite a few emails uh, regarding having getting error messages like unsupported file type error um, when they try to attempt to upload Simply Crafty SVG files. And the, I'm going to show you what can cause that most often. Um, first of all, it has to be unzipped, but I'm going to show you why it'll, it'll happen with the zip file and um, other ways it'll happen. But the most common thing will happen when you're trying to upload a file from a zip file. So if we click on new project, because that's how we need to click on upload, and click on upload, and you see this is zipped, that's unzipped, we're going to just try to upload the cupcake one. So if I were to click on upload image and then try to drop that there, you have selected an unsupported file type. So that's just because it was um, a zip file. So it's not extracted yet, so it won't work. If I double click in there, sometimes people think they unzipped it, but they're in there. And if it says extract at the top, that means it's not zipped up. And again, if you try to browse, Windows 10 will allow you, allow you to browse in and look at the files in a zip file. But if I go and try to drag one over, you'll see that little file right there. Only files are allowed. And it says file dropped. Well, it won't work because it's still in a zip file. The other thing that can happen, we're just going to go back. If you try to upload it via this button, it's not meant for SVG files. As you say, see, it's JPEG, GIF, PNG, or BMP. But I know in the past somebody has accidentally clicked on this button instead, hit Browse, or, or drag and drop, and I'm just going to do a valid one. So this is an unzipped one. And I drag and drop it there, or I just click Open. And that's unsupported file type because this is not the right place to upload it. So it, it would work fine if I went like this, and then it would work. So th that's two reasons why you'd get that. So th another way it happens a lot of times is people go ahead and browse. And I'm going to go again and click on that. And it's zipped, and that's why. So again, let me show you again what I just did. I'm selecting a zip file rather than unzipped, because you can see the little zipper icon versus the unzip icon. I mean, an icon, a folder icon without the zipper, and there's one with the zipper. So to simply solve that issue is just to make sure you unzip the files. So let's go over to here. And let's go ahead now and extract all. Now it'll work from the unzipped. So if I go like this, then you can see I don't see extract up there anymore. I can go ahead and just drag it in or you can do the browse and open it that way. I have a separate uh, video on how to upload to Cricut Design Space and then save and then it'll work just fine. So another thing that I've seen people do in the past is um, they unzip my folder, they go to this first level, and they don't go into the SVG files, and they try to upload the PDF file in Cricut Design Space. So if you try to do that, you're also going to get a the same error message. So I click on Upload Image, and I like to drag it in. So I go like this, and then it says you have an unsupported file type. And that's just because PDFs um, aren't supported in there. And also, we wouldn't use that anyways because the files are under the SVG files folder. So just make sure you're uh, uploading an appropriate uh, image type like SVG. For us, it's almost exclusively SVG format. Um, and just double check what the extension is. Every once in a while uh, with, I don't know, some users have problems when they reassociate their SVG format to Chrome. And for some reason, that causes some problems for some Cricut Design Space users. It shouldn't. Um, and I have another video uh, that you can reference on how to set it back to Internet Explorer, which is um, the default for Windows 10. Um, 
But if it does, that could be the issue as well. And then lastly, there are some things that can happen in a file. So I can't say that I'm always going to have the perfect file when I send it out. I do try to test every file that I create. Um, I Because Cricut Design Space is the most particular software currently out there that I work with on a regular basis, um, I now I always upload a version of uh, my files to... Cricut Design Space just to make sure there's not some little weird issues. Very, very picky. So what I mean by that is that your perfect, your SVG files have to be pretty pristine. Otherwise, Cricut Design Space will throw an error. So with that in mind, um, if you get another file from me, or I mean, if none of these steps work and you're still having problems, of course, I'll try to help you. Just send me uh, an email via our contact form. Um, but if you're getting it from somebody else and you're trying to figure out how to troubleshoot this, if you tried all those steps, you might want to just contact the original creator of that uh, file. And and this is a link, and I'll put below, from Cricut Help, which talks about what other things can cause that error message. So things like pattern fills, clippy mass, text, if text is exported incorrectly, um, linked images. So this is all done when it, the file is created in something like ink space, ink space or um, like Illustrator. So I use Illustrator, but I know a lot of people use Inkscape because it's um, free. Um, I don't. Um, but if you're having difficulty and you're creating your own text files, let's just say, because that's a real common issue, um, there are some videos out there that can help you just to make sure you know how to export it from Inkscape correctly. And I think there's some for Illustrator too, but I'm going to put a link below for Inkscape, which is from uh, TroyTube, who has been historically very helpful to um, folks out there that use cutting machines. So I hope one of these things helped. Um, I, this is the reason why I put this video out there, because I do know that I do get this question intermittently. If it did, please give me a little thumbs up below. I would appreciate that. And um, until next time, thanks for watching.